Several months ago I bought this missing link arc welder so I could melt metal by making an arc furnace. Unfortunately, you can't do that without a crucible. Now, my friend Arduino vs. Evil and I have been kind of in a friendly competition where we've been trying to best each other and help each other make better arc furnaces. He's been making graphite crucibles and they look pretty interesting, but I think that's kind of that's a little bit out of my league. So I, I thought, what if I used steel for the crucible? Because right now I'm only going to be starting with melting aluminium. And there's a good 1,000 or 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit difference between the melting point of steel and the melting point of aluminium. So I'm thinking a good aluminium crucible would just be a, a steel pipe with a cap on the end that would also allow for current to pass through it. So I have these two pieces, just random pieces of junk. This, this is from the lawnmower that I turned into an electric lawn tractor. So I really don't need that. And this is just a random pipe fitting I have laying around. So I'm just going to weld it around there. And then sometime later on, if it actually works, I can add like a handle onto it. Because that would be nice to have a handle welded onto it. And I'm thinking that's a pretty good amount of aluminium right there. Before I weld this, we, I'm going to want to brush this off. So, let's get it all cleaned up. And then we can weld. That's good enough for me. I think it's all sealed up. Only one way to find out. Nope, it is a little bit of leak. Right there. Looks good.
damn it. Stupid circuit breaker. That's pretty hot. So I think this is a pretty good proof of concept that iron or steel can withstand the temperature of aluminium melting. Even though I did, didn't get it ex as hot as I'd like. Oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!